I first got into hip-hop when I was about seven or eight. My cousin Bobby actually introduced me to it. Uh, our main song, like uh, when we was listening to some of this, was that uh, player, seven, eight, eight, D A T F, just like Jake's Snake. And we used to listen to that every time we went to the club, every time. We are like, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. First thing I always listened to first was the beat, you know what I mean? I was just always like, wow, the, the beat's insane. LL Cool J Radio, or just the drums on like a, a Run DMC track. I was like, wow, man. When I was about 16, 17 years old, I was like, oh man, you know what? I need some beats to rap to. I should stop making beats. My boy Rick. Infinite Rock, Soul Controller. DJ Infinite, he was like, you know, Yo, I got this little Gemini mixer and, uh, and a turntable. Why don't you start making beats? Jada Peanut is a beat smith, beat junkie, music junkie, musaholic. I met Jay because he wanted to beat me up because uh, he was on some bully shit. Thought it'd be cool to pick on a sixth grader. My swag swayed him away and uh, then from there I guess music picked up, bumping our gums about music. And then I charged him a grip for a sample of that I probably shouldn't have charged him a grip for, but um, I was like, yeah, alright, maybe. He charged me a grip and a half. I think he charged me like 300 bucks for this little Gemini 24 second sample. I charged him a grip for that. Moved out to Taunton, Mass. You know, uh, started making beats. <laughs> I kind of caught up with Roulette again because they were from Rhode Island and uh, it was the funniest thing is like my boy Chachi, he was actually down with with the whole Roulette fam and it was like a C&J, it was, it was a label out here, C&J. I caught up with Chachi and me and Chachi go way back. I haven't known, I've known Charlie since he was 13, 14, I was like 15, 16. Man, I remember picking him up when we used to go out, we used to ride from Rhode Island to to Massachusetts and just freestyle for 45 minutes straight. And it was just funny that Charlie was actually down with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? The C&J, the C&J Records. From there, I went to the Cape Verde Festival and I seen Charlie there. And he was with his boy Earn Doe, which they were part of Prospect Heights. And they were signed to C&J Records. And uh, I was like, yo man, Charlie, you know, you know I make beats? Oh yeah, yeah, what's up with that, blah, blah. And at that time I had, I had like, my MP and all that, and I used to I used to bring it to Ricky's house. I used to leave it in my boy Infinite's uh, cellar. So we went there after the Cape Verde Fest, and I was playing the beats, and they were just sitting there too. It was Prospect Heights, Charlie and Ernesto, and they were just like, spitting. I was like, oh man, I felt good again. Hell yeah, some more MCs, you know. From there, Charlie was like, yo, I want you to meet C.I. I want you to meet. I want you to meet the C and J clan. I was like, alright, cool man. You know? And from there, that's where C and J began with me, man. I went, met C.I., showed them some beats. At that time, um, Swan Nadi was recording a 12-inch single. It was uh, Four Steps, and that was produced by Joey Beats and Eighth Wonder. Big shots to them guys. And uh, they needed a flip. And I went in there and I showed them my What If beat that I had, and I loved this beat. And I was like, yo, I always heard Swan on it. I was like, yo, man, I can't Swan. And Swan heard it, and he made a click. He made a classic to us anyway, you know, it's not really out there like that, but to me, it's one of the most classic songs I did. Yo, imagine a world without music, without a kick and a snare, vocals to blend with it, no favorite songs, no inspiring artists, singers, and no rappers, no DJs, new releases, and no classics, nothing to dance to. Nothing 
nothing to grab ya Girl of romance too, nothing to keep your mind sane No radio station playing that song to make it flashback What you was doing at that particular time frame No MICs, no NPCs, VH1s, BETs, and MTVs TAPE, CDs, vinyl, tribal communication No national anthem representing your nation Imagine life with no instruments Nah, I can't see it dog. I need music It flows in me, bleed music, live and breathe music Never see Swan Naughty without a steam music Every hood nigga should have some what? Yeah, I recorded a lot of things with C&J You know what I'm saying? With, with Swan, with Chach Forbidden Formula, with Prospect Heights It was a crazy time, man It was so dope, man You know, It was almost like surreal for me You know what I mean? Like I was like, wow, man This is like really happening Doing shows You know, we, we went to Manhattan We went to New York, did a show People were like just giving us mad respect, but uh, like everything, things fall apart. You know, it, was, it wasn't a bad thing, but everybody started. I think I don't know if we got older, what happened with it, but it just seemed like everybody just started drifting away. You know what I mean? After C and J, I kind of like didn't even make beats for a while, like like you know, and I was like, all right, wait a minute, I gotta get back on my grind, you know. I still kept in touch with Swan. I still kept in touch with all of them guys, and uh, me, Chachi, and 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 Ver, Edgar. I was like, you know, I, I got in touch with them guys. I'm like, yo, let's open up a studio, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's call it Beatbox Studio. And uh, we did it. We opened it up. You know what I'm saying? We opened it up. It's still running till this day. I, I was just, you know, strolling through one day. I saw a vacancy upstairs. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And uh, I was like, how much? The yeah, landlord said to me, yeah, like, yeah. So I said, I'll take it. You know, not having any equipment. I called up Jay that same day. And I was like, Jay, I just rented out a space for the studio. <laughs> you got any equipment? <laughs> he was like, I'll come see you. He came through. I started painting. Weather, falling from grace, rising to the top like base. We make all moves right in your face. Like police shine light on your face. Usual suspects usually get rough like sex. Compromise, try to comprehend complex life. The figures never seen from the tax on checks. So we spend what we don't have and live on the rest. And we still play hard but depend on the referee. Make dollars legit. The pigs still sweating me. Getting me to the point where I don't want to be. I'm right where I want to be. Listen to Swan Song. Please get off of me to ease disorderly. Feelings that's haunting me. Causing me to smoke more weed than any one man ever needs. Pop seeds and sloppily roll models of bowls. Unnourished like the models in Vogue. I let them know. Cha ching in it. And we don't stop. Jada Pina on it. And we don't stop. Beatbox is the.